gusta, suscríbete a YouTube, aquí, Inti News, suscribe tu canal. Perfecto, adelante. Vamos con el presidente de la conferencia de hoy, E. Hidalgo. El gobernador Omar Fayad, he visitado en ocho ocasiones, siendo presidente del estado de Hidalgo. Y queridos amigos, en siete meses y medio, so ocho meses en Hidalgo. Es increíble. increíble. La cantidad de viajes que That's hace el presidente incredible. todos los fines de semana. No descansa nunca. Este rests. presidente. This es extraordinario. He's extraordinary. Vamos a seguir eh, viniendo, nos vamos a seguir encontrando. Me da mucho gusto estar de nuevo aquí so en Aguasteca. Only en Pachuca, en Pachuca, en Tulancingo, o en Tula. O en Tula también es pueblo. Huitla es also a, a town. I think it's one of the forgotten towns. Y nos importa mucho porque And it matters a lot esa to es la because that is the filosofía philosophy de nuestro gobierno. Of our government. Atender a todos, to escuchar a todos, to to respetar a todos, to pero darle preferencia but to give a la gente humilde. To the Esta humble es la people. filosofía This philosophy del presidente Andrés Manuel López Obrador Manuel López y de su Obrador gobierno. And of his que él le denomina la 4T, la cuarta gran transformación en alusión a las tres grandes transformaciones que a lo largo de su historia the, ha sufrido uh, México. Fourth transformation of the three transformations Escuchar a todos, Mexico has atender a todos, pero por el bien del país, primero los pobres. Uh, Esto es absolutamente all, prioritario. All y And debería convertirse ya a partir de ahora en el primer mandamiento first, uh, vamos a llamar así vamos a decir un sí, en un parangón of, con, uh, con esta tradición bíblica well, like a, a tradition son los diez mandamientos Bible, no like the ten pues ahora tiene que haber diez mandamientos políticos so el primero de ellos tiene que ser por el bien de todos primero for, los pobres uh, to help por el bien de todos primero los pobres Queridos amigos, en so esta pequeña frase se engloba unas implicancias infinitas. Implicans, uh, Porque a partir de aquí tú puedes empezar a, a hacer tus políticas Because now you can start to make your, uh, los militares, policíacas, etc. All these things. Poniendo If you put all these centro, things in the no solamente center, a la persona humana, sino a los person, seres humanos que han estado postergados y olvidados that have been forgotten. Siglos for centuries in their countries. Lo mismo the same thing has to demás happen demás in all the other America countries of Latin America, America and of the world. Because in all lands there's poor people that are forgotten, poor, enslaved. This is a true leader is the one that would make this fundamental in all this politics. And that's what the Mexican president AMLO has done in Me Mexico, and that's why I devote myself to doing videos, because I need to divulge this, Mara, the world needs to know. Carranza, que está and el de México, Mark Carranza has been putting it in English for the whole world, en inglés, because in English they also have to know what's no happening vivimos. in Mexico. Y tengo And I believe uh, the Guadalaya, la Huasteca, the Guadalaya, is informarles que ya came to inform me of the la transformación, the la cuarta trans transformación, the transformation de la vida pública del país. Ya ustedes the conocen la fórmula. And you know the formula. Es sencilla. It's simple. Consiste It en acabar con la corrupción y con la impunidad. And impunity. Y de esa manera, And then that way, fondos. we can liberate funds. La formula the formula es is simple. Cualquier gobierno municipal, local, Any municipal, regional, government, estatal, local, 
state. Their, his first fundum should be to fight corruption. Absolutely radical. So that's going to be the second commandment for development. That's the plan, generally. No, you don't need to write down all these terms of political economics. He's, you don't need to contract um, these people that came through Stanford or nothing, none of that. All they know how to do is rob in a professional way. Let's call the things the, by their own names. These great universities of the world, economies, schools of economy, have to devised the plan for future leaders to steal and loot from the people. And that needs to end. So the, doc, the president is doing something extraordinary. And he needs to be an example for all of Latin America and the world. The formula is to end corruption and impunity and add to that to also end with the luxuries in government. So the third principle, for the good of all, uh, okay, so, uh, three, get rid of luxuries, to live in austerity, in, in a normal, good, but not excessive, no superficialities, nothing, ex no extraordinary expenses. Anybody who wants to live like that can go to a private business and do what he wants, get all his money in this private sector. But a public servant and all the people that work for the government need to live in austerity. No. Good salaries, but no luxuries, no excesses. We need to do government with austerity and save and all that you obtain from applying that formula, you return it to the well-being of the people. That's the plan we're going through. That's the basic plan for the good of all, especially the poor. Point number one, to fight against uh, uh, corruption and impunity. And all that money that will be saved and recovered in these politics, they will be reinvested in society, the good for society, good pensions, health, etc., etc. And when it is, and it's been giving us results. No. We aren't increasing uh, taxes. We're not creating any new taxes. The country is not becoming indebted. This is very important. Then, thanks to a, very, a frontal uh, uh, fight, he has not increased taxes, and that's very important. And uh, also, he hasn't had to get any loans. Remember that Macri in Argentina, what did this man do? Well, if you can call him that. He indebted uh, Argentina for the next 400 years. And he hasn't even solved the problem with that man. Because all he did was get into debt. But the worst part of it regarding this corrupt is they indebt the country and they don't do anything for it and they're still in the same status. This is terrible. This is a president that is absolutely sincere and exemplary for his country and for the whole world. On the contrary, we we are trying to end the debt. 
we're not letting uh, gas prices go up and I made a promise that prices would not go up. Gasolinazos means where in Central America they used to have these hikes, hikes, keep hiking the price. And as the hikes went up, it, everything would go up in addition to it. So if you control the price of gas, then you will decrease them. That's another parameter, it will decrease inflation. But that's un indisputable. So that gasoline and diesel and gas and light at till the end from, of the government. And, and possibly that at when one saw this, we rescue the uh, petroleum and the uh, electrical sector, we will, probably, we will most likely bring down the prices of electricity and gas. This is unbelievable. It's, a, it's extraordinary importance. The President AMLO is saying that if all this um, is functions well, and if he can construct the refinery, and, and if he's able to uh, produce their own, and if they can even, maybe even lower the prices. Can you imagine, in what country have they lowered the prices at one time? Well, we know in your purse, you're going to uh, raise but in has actual real life ever do you ever remember like the that something went from 50 cents to 10 cents no so what this president has, is already going into history he says like almost magical like a magician um, absolutely unquestionable this that this which is he's making an example for the whole world and it's so there's less inflation than before and something that is not being said because the, our adversaries don't want to accept the new reality mexico is one of the countries of the world in which the the uh, currency our peso has gotten stronger in relation to the dollar it is the currency that has most strengthened in the world, the peso, in relation to the dollar, in all the time that we've been here. So this means, dear friends, that the peso is strong. There's a few strong in the world, obviously the dollar the euro, the Swiss franc, these are solid, they do not lose their value, they maintain their um, value compared to the dollar. But it has never occurred that another country, it's like a third world country, it has never occurred that it maintains so strong and that is being gained by President AMLO. And that's irrefutable. You cannot deny it. It's an evidence that is un in that this is great in politics. For the good of all, first the poor, frontally attack corruption and impunity, no uh, luxuries and, and uh, uh, public services, and invest all these resources that are saved and to lower the, the um, and to increase the salaries and to invest it again in the people, in pro social projects, grants, helps, etc., programs for development, etc. And all that money, as it returns to the people, it di di makes the economy dynamic. And the money is in the people, and everybody can produce more. And then the country can begin to develop. That is the proof, the final proof, absolute and total, that the 
neoliberal system is absolutely useless. And any country that decides to continue with neoliberalism is a liar and a traitor. The people needs to wake up and remove their uh, politicians if they're continuing to do these things because there's nothing else. You need to get them out. So there, we're doing good, and we have a budget because we took a few decisions and we ended Guachicol. So for those of you that don't know what Guachicol is, and if you, this is your first time on my channel, Guachicol is a word that is made that means that they were uh, uh, draining the gas lines, they were making holes in, in the ducts, crime by organized crime, and they they would they would steal the gas directly. They would steal about 800 tankfuls a day, and that's imagine the millions of dollars that were being lost by this matter of what you call the theft of gas. That that alone is giving us 50,000 million pesos a, a day a, that we're saving so far annually. That's a savings now. So that is not going to be coming out of our budget because it was no longer being so. They used to steal around 65 thousand million pesos. That's how much we uh, accounted that was stolen in uh, gas or fuel. We combated it and out of 800 that they used to steal a day, it came down to, to um, 95%. It was very hard but it was you know the cost of 40 lives, that's what hurts me the most. It, my friends, he's referring to, for you that don't know, that you're, it's, there was an explosion in one of these clandestine uh, uh, um, holes that they had dug, or, but it was something terrible. And the poor people, they would go there with tubes and um, they went there to get like with buckets to get the gas and it exploded. Since I've been governing, but it uh, was allowed to grow a lot, this problem. With the logic, or with the justification, that it, if they stole in the top, then why wouldn't they steal from the bottom? Or from the poor? I mean, the poor also were stealing. So, so they would try to get 20, or 20 liters of gas or something so they could survive. So we've confronted that. And and now, it's not just to end the corruption on the bottom. The major corruption was on the, t on the top. So, dear friends, that is the truth. The real corruption, the fattest part of it, is on the white collar. The people that with studies and masters, with contacts in high society, they are the most terrible. And we need to call things by their name. The atrocities of the looting that they stole, it has to end. The corruption, it, it's not generally given from the bottom to the top. It's not from the people upwards to up to the presidential suite. 
It's from the National Palace towards the people because that's where they make that's where they that's where they make the most juicy deals and from particular people to benefit. So now we've advanced with that and we're going to continue to advance that. There is no impunity. We came and the ones at the very top were not paying taxes. Dear friends, when a candidate that doesn't come with a, a pres uh, the spirit that the president comes, that in the case of Peru, for example, we had a candidate that was Guzman. There's various ones. I don't, I don't remember their names, but there's so many. But I can I can inform. But there was a plenty of candidates, and none of them had these kind of plans. And the candidate that did have a similar, like AMLO, she, uh, Veronica Mendoza, <laughs> was question, in, put in question and her name <coughs> appeared in something with uh, uh, something corrupt. <coughs> Someone that had been um, jailed for corruption. So we don't know definitely <coughs> if she was aware of these, these things from the other lady. <coughs> and this, but in her moment she fell and she came out we don't know we don't know but she knows <coughs> but just the fact that there was a doubt it disqualifies her dear friends we cannot have any absolute a doubt of a candidate that wants to enter a Peru or any other country in South America or the world. No, it is. As of now, we're not going to be, these citizens are not going to be happy with unethical uh, leaders. The President AMLO has done something extraordinary. He set the bar really high. He set it so high, dear friends, and the people will not be happy with anything less. There was a mechanism to return them. So what they used to would do was condone the taxes or forgive taxes. So think of a think of a company, the biggest one here, the one that the most famous one, another form of corruption, condoning debts from hacienda. So. So in um, Peru, we have telephones. It's from the mafia. It's uh, mafia, Spanish uh, mafia. One of the mafia groups in Spain. The government of Pepe has been the government corrupt. There's a thousand cases that have been. Uh, I'm not saying anything new. It's been proven relation with these parties these companies have become accustomed to loot and steal and have their taxes condoned or forgiven and it needs to end totally this corruption so in the mining companies in Peru you know they get they keep condoning so, <clears throat> so think of a bank that the the most famous. Well, that bank or that company were had paid no taxes. Basically, none of them paid taxes. How is that possible? And the same thing is happening in a lot of countries in Latin America, in the United States. You know, they 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 even made it legal there to just give people. They just go there and they they have a system now. They they just give people their money back. The high companies, they've condoned it.
You know who paid taxes? Well, all the Mexicans, the people, almost all of them. Of course, the workers, the ones that bought anything, were paying their taxes. The nurses, the workers, they paid, they paid their taxes. So now uh, we're giving uh, uh, grants. We've given six hundred six hundred ninety nine, but the uh, goal is thirteen thousand uh, one hundred eighty two. He's giving grants to education to all this population. Can you imagine that? I will leave you the. Uh, uh, link so you can go see it yourself. So she's saying hello to all the people now. And thank you for taking your time. She says AMLO is an uh, admirable fighter. He woke up the conscience of the people to fight and to pull the gov corrupt people out of government. That's why it's so beautiful. And it's true. She is saying the truth. Gloria A cordial hello from the city of Mexico. I liked your reflections. And thank you. Rafael Hernandez. Um, reflections regarding what happened to the president the other day. Excellent video. And I'd like to give you my uh, salutation. It's, uh, the pr president works from 4 in the morning to 10 at night. And that day he looked to be very tired. And he says, I'm very, I agree very much with that. And he asked them, please let him rest. It's incredible that there's people so that they sell themselves for money to bother the person that's struggling with all his strength to take our country out of this problem. Let uh, AMLO know that he is not alone. And thank you for your support from this, your servant. And I do it with all my the love. I've never seen this in, the, in this um, modern story. And I am with the Ford uh, transformation till death. Heart and life. AMLO consolidates himself as a leader. Vicente <laughs> uh, Fox opened the door to all these people. He said a lot of foul language, <laughs> so he can't say it. But thank you, Arturo, anyway, for cooperating. Everybody's welcome. As long as you express yourself in a respectful way, we can't say um, uh, inappropriate words. I might get censored. Gilberto Jimenez says, it's sad that there exists people that is so unconsiderate. Thank you. Thank you for your love for the cause. Igui Perez, re, uh, relating to the interview with Jalife, a tremendous analyst. It's one, he's wonderful to listen to. Oh, you don't know the pleasure it was for me and the blessing it was to be able to meet with the president, Professor Halif and Doctor from Barcelona. And I spent a day with him. It was extraordinary. I'm very happy and thank you, thankful for life that they allowed me to meet a person that is so sweet and wonderful. And thank you very much for your opinions. You are a great person. You are the one that believes in a great country. And thank you for your... I am a humble servant, just like you. And I, I am committed to this fight.
Marisa Herrero, muy buena entrevista. Gracias, Marisa. Un fuerte abrazo. Sea bienvenida siempre. Comenta siempre que guste. Siéntete libre, por favor. Siempre que lo desee. Muy amable. Thank you that in Mexico we have such a model um, president, even though we have these corrupt people. Thank you for sharing your opinions. You always have this channel open for you. Eva Castro. There's so much. I, it's so sad for humanity. I feel sad for all of us. <coughs> he says, don't feel sad. I know, I understand that there's a lot of act, terrible acts from people that are inconsiderate and mean. But thanks to people like Amlo and the YouTubers, uh, like Campechanando and El Juca, all the YouTubers. <coughs> There's a lot of YouTubers that are entering. We need to go bring more light and conscious to this world. This, this road we've taken in, this, in the web, this is unstoppable. This, you can't walk, go backwards in the future. But in the future, they will remember us that we're doing this now as people that believed in humanity. Because you have to believe in humanity. And President Am has given me faith in humanity again. And the same I wish for you, that he return your uh, faith to you. Don't let that pessim pessimism invade you. It hurts our hearts to see these things, but don't stay there. Raise your head and go forward. We all need to go forward with the 40. I'm a subscriber to your channel and thank you. I, I like your agreeable manner and explanations and he says thank you. I do what I can. I haven't been through any of your studies and I have a lot of er defects and errors but I do it from my heart and I appreciate that you enjoy it and feel free always to participate ever again. I feel that in spirituality he says, you said something extraordinary. My, ma my teacher is Stenia, and for lots of people. We all have a teacher. Amlo is also a teacher. I have lots of teachers. We all have lots of teachers. Our parents, our family, our children. We're all each other's teachers. And we all teach each other. In this case, we don't want... We don't want to just um, hope. We want to know. In your own way, you say it. I feel that in spirituality, there's um, like to know or to have faith. But when you know something, you don't need to believe it because it's a certainty. And in that sense, I give you the reason that we need to know as opposed to have faith. It's fundamental, at least it is for me. And I can't stop saying it. And to say it to all the four winds, Alfonso Cardiel, I don't believe that Donald Trump is um, transparent. I think he thinks he's the strongest. He says, I don't understand very much what you say, but Thank you for participating. Something about a troll. Okay. Thank you for... Eva again. 
He says, this is good. You're inspired. Uh, some other programs Esteve Catalan uh, did. I was fascinated by the picture. It's singular. Because to speak so beautiful of Mexico makes me proud. For more than 30 years, he tried to get into that position. And thank you. Regarding Jalife. I live in the U.S., in Los Angeles, and I'm Mexican. And they say that we're, there's about 50 million Mexicans in Mexico. And if that, then there should be lots of That someday, maybe a Mexican will be president. Yes, maybe. So we should have very good relationships with Mexico and the U.S. Because we're going to be brothers, sisters, us, uh, countries. But some people in the U.S. don't think that. But we should be brothers. We are so mixed every day now and more in the future. It's, it's a migration that is in, so Trump is still obsessed with that. But it's a inevitable, this pluralization. Then he's just doing it for votes and because he's running for office. But not just Mexico, but the whole world is, is mixing. Uh, so, so, yes, uh, so a few police attacked him, and he didn't uh, become intimidated, and he talked to them and dealt with them. He's a strong, valiant man, and, uh, and they need to stop doing that behavior. They should not repeat that. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm inspired. So, uh, so he's not going to go on, but he can't read it all because it would take too long. But I want you to know that I'm always reading them. He says, look for Vicente Serrano that's working on Capuchin. He has a lot of... Um, yeah. Yeah. That's right. I've tried to make a program with them so they can know me. But they still, a lot of people that don't know me, but they haven't had been able to communicate with me. Or, but I didn't come into this to become famous. What's important is that the message get to the more people. And, um, and love has all these YouTubers. He says, I'm superfluous, but I thank you. I thank you for recommending me. And I follow you all. See, here's my list. RBC, Alerta Mexico. So he's going through all the list of all the ones he's got that we uh, all follow, you know, uh, with all the data. And I follow all of them. Thank you. Yes. Okay. So thank you for the interview with Jalife. Okay, I have to end this. But, <laughs> but unfortunately, I can't pause him, so. I'm not sure. I've done something here. He doesn't know what the word chingon is. It's not a good word. <laughs> it means it's kind of like uh, it's kind of a tough guy, but kind of with a little strong language. So he's happy that we've got more YouTubers that are Peruvian, like Belmont, and now him and Jota. That's, yeah, and so yeah.
Robo Mendoza, el pueblo con los presidente, gracias, Robo Mendoza, MB. Ok, construye todo esto. Gracias, gracias, hermano. Gracias, Carlos. Omar Tini, gracias. Muchísimas gracias, Orquida Sández. De acuerdo Boy. con todos tus comentarios, William, como siempre, muy sensatos. Mm. Qué hermoso ver los pajaritos. Sí, yes, sí, 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 sí. Can hear the birds in the background. It's nice. Bendiciones ahí donde estés. Yeah. Os agradezco muchísimo vuestras palabras. He que says, I appreciate all your words, words very much. Porque yo de dinero no gano mucho. He says, I don't make lots of money, money because maybe just, just a few cents. He says, I, when he goes, but I'm very thankful for that. But I don't do it for the money anyway. But of course, it's helpful. Of course, any money that comes, but it's not for the money that I'm doing this channel. No, not in any way. It would be vulgar, but I appreciate your comments. It's important that people in America find out about this. Um, we can create a better place for our children. Of course, there's a lot of resistance, but he's getting rid of all the inju social injustice. He will be studied in universities, so they will know about justice and quality of life, and not to be objects of abuse ever again. That is a beautiful thing. Very sincere that you say. Beautiful words. With lots of sentiment. And then, then you have my channel open if you ever want to make a video together. Call me. You have my number. Do it with confidence. I am open for all people who want to put in their opinion in this year channel. Inti News is a different channel. Fraudulent? What are you referring to? Well, whatever. But this, I would like you to clarify that for me, my brother. What do you sense are you referring to fraudulent? Is there something you think I said that was fraudulent? I would really like you to explain because I don't understand what you're talking about. But hopefully you read this and tell me and let us all know. It's always necessary to. I don't do anything fraudulent. Absolutely nothing. But if you've discovered something that was fraudulent, please explain it so I can clarify it. That's very important. Thank you for participating. And thank you for opinion, for using proper language, no, nothing upset, uh, abuse. It's very important. So he's referring to the previous presidents that, that were egotistical and they didn't realize what, or they didn't care what they were doing to the people. And we're, so, so I'm sure that they were sabotaging and are still attempting to sabotage. And we're, so they're going to have to um, pay for these low acts. And some people are just don't un can't make understand that the corruption has ended in Mexico. And many cannot believe it. Well, okay, so we're going to end it there. I don't want to abuse of our time with our friends, and we'll do it another day. And I want to say thanks to everybody, and goodbye. And those that follow us, that we have uh, four months, and we're very thankful. We've already passed the minutes. I never imagined that I would go uh, to so much. It's because I can't answer. It's because I'm very busy. I have a job and I work lots of hours. And the few hours that I have, I give it to this job. I still have to attend to my family and I have to ration my time. But I do it with love. And you always participate. For me, it's a beautiful thing, and thank you very much. To death with, I mean, let's go forward with um, Forti. He's the light for this world. So you guys, um, 
I really enjoyed um, his explanation. Um, it's not that I couldn't have translated it myself, you know, from the original video, but um, I also want to make clear that um, there's people, he's in Spain, he's Peruvian, but he lives in Spain. There's people all over the world that are finding out about AMLO and um, are so um, happy that finally uh, we have um, something beautiful um, happening in this in this world, you know that that there's a president, a official that um, is in a position to help the people, and he really is using it. He's using his power for for the good, and um, of course the people that were you know making money, taking advantage of these people are not happy. <laughs> And they're attempting to um, <coughs> to sabotage him at every turn, but you know that's expected because you know they were making their money. <coughs> anyway, I just wanted you to know that people around the world know about Amlo, and someday he's going to be in history in the books, <coughs> in school books, and they'll talk about him. So if you guys want to know, I translate AMLO in Spanish on the daily. He has a conference every day. And sometimes I translate on weekends too, like today. Um, you have a great day now. Bye.